Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show a little uh, a tip about uh, jQuery. How you can build a simple uh, check all checkboxes and uncheck all and flip the checks to non checks and the non checks is flipped to checked on the same time. So let's starting. I going in my code. I have this is pre built code. Uh, you can get it from my GitHub. The this code and and the final code. So I'm starting to uh, to build three buttons. I will call the one button for for check all, and the second button I will call for uncheck all, and the last button I need to, to call to flip all. We need a on click function. So build it we can call this for check all on check all and on click flip all. So now we go to our J uh, J uh, sorry our JavaScript file and we're starting to build the first uh, function. It's called check all. Yes, and we have a, a class on our check uh, on our inputs. So we need this uh, class to to handle what's happening. So to to get checked all, we need to pop a, a attribute to true. Um, if you use uh, jQuery, uh, they are older than uh, one six. You probably will use uh, a attribute method. We need uh, in the new jQuery from from um, one six and the new one. I use uh, jQuery two one four. I will use uh, pop uh, to this function. So let's test about it. This is working. And yes, we can uh, we cannot uncheck it right now. We cannot flip it. So go back to JavaScript. And type the next code. We need to build the uncheck function, and we can copy this because it's the same. You only need to tell it to uncheck. So we have then uncheck and the check function. It's uh, working right now. So the nice function we we got here. It's a flip all uh, function because. Here we need to use a each function. The each function needs to uh, to pass all the checkboxes from the checkbox class inside the function with an index and a value. So to create this easy, we we want to handle the, the same object as we find. The easiest way is. Uh, is called it like uh, this, and uh, dot pop, and here we need to to tell this a checked, uh, and we can uh, we need uh, to tell it if it's true, we need to do it uh, false, and if it's a false, we need to to make it true. For that, we uh, we tell the do the difference uh, between. Uh, our popped uh, function checked. Um, so let's check about this working. So it's flipping all as you can see. So what what we do here is uh, we run all the the inputs uh, together uh, from the checkbox class, and every time we uh, we loop it uh, together. We will uh, check about it's true or it's false. This line will return uh, the difference between. We, we need to send to set it uh, the if it's true, it's tell to set it to false, and if it's false, it's it's uh, it's set it to true. It's it's uh, then yeah, you get the point. Sorry. So this is what I have today. And I hope you can uh, use uh, this little tip and 
you are welcome to subscribe my channel and I hope you will like it below if you like it. So I hope you see you next time.